Good afternoon, students. I am Surinder Singh Jit, Senior Lecturer of Physics from SRLU. Today, I will start the first unit of Class 12, Electrostatics. Electrostatics. See, it is, it is made of two words. Electrostatics. What do you mean by electro? Statics is rest. Electro means charge. It means in this lesson we will study charge is at rest. Now there is a history behind it. Why we are getting why we are using the word electro from where we get it. Electro. Electro is the word that we got from the word electron. Electron is obtained from electro. And electron is the Greek name of amber. What is an amber? It is a pale yellow resin. I will explain it. See, charge a body, any body is of two types, whether it is charged or uncharged. First of all, I will explain you what is uncharged body. Uncharged body is also called a neutral. Today we say the body is uncharged, it means it neither attracts or repels anything. It means it has equal amount of positive and negative charge. But today we know we have two types of charges, positive and negative. But about 600 BC, we don't know about these two types of charges. We will explain it later on. The body is of two types, charged and uncharged. Uncharged is neutral. Now what are charged? A body is said to be charged. If it starts attracting small bits of paper or dust particles, you may have seen in your childhood or you, you may do this experiment. You please rub the plastic scale or a glass rod with your hair and you'll find it will start attracting small bits of paper. It means this plastic scale or this pen or this marker is charged because it acquired the property of attracting dust particles. Now the question is that, will my hair by which this plastic marker is rubbed is also electrified? Yes, it is also electrified. I will explain it later. What I am saying, the body is said to be charged if it attains the property of attracting some neutral things. Anyway, Today we know charged bodies are positively charged body or negatively charged body. Negatively charged previously were called as resonance. Why resonance? Because resin was amber was resin. Vitreous positively charged bodies is called vitreous. Why vitreous? Because in Latin vitreous means glass. In Greek amber was called as electro. I will, do, I will explain the experiment given by the, or done by the tales of Miletus. You will know more thing about vitreous and resonance then. But what is there? Bodies of two types, whether it is charged or uncharged. Uncharged means it has both equal number of positive and negative charges. Charged means it has the property to attract small bits of neutral bodies or dust particles. Now how it attracts the dust particles, it is, it is, it, I will explain it in the next lesson. Frictional electricity. Now what is frictional electricity? Now first is what is electricity? I have told you. A body is said to be electrified if it get charged. Either positive or negative. Or you can say it attains the property of attracting small bits of paper or dust particles. The frictional electricity means Electricity produced because of friction or you can say charge produced because of friction. Charge can be produced in many ways but first of all let me explain how the charge is produced because of friction. That is called frictional electricity. Now there is some history behind production of charges by friction. Why? Right? Because without explaining the history behind the charges it is very it's not good to 
study the other topics. Let me explain how the charges are formed. And I am giving respect to, you can say, the father of electrostatics. You can say the father of electrostatics. Because Thales of Miletus, who was a Greek philosopher, in 16, 600 BC, 600 BC, around 2600 years ago, he has done an experiment. What he has done? He rubbed the amber rod with woolen cloth. Woolen cloth, woolen. What is a woolen? It is uh, fur, you can say. Cat skin is also there. Cat skin, the skin of tiger or some animal. Cat. Flannel. Flannel is the other name of cat skin. All these things comes under a common thing called wool. So here up amber rod with wool. Amber is pale yellow in color. It is a resin that is obtained from trees. resin. And amber is one of that. It is pale yellow in color. Very attractive. And it is used in many ways. It is used in decorative things. It is used in jewelry. It is used in making big buildings and houses also. So it is also used in temples, <coughs> palaces also. So anyway, amber was very much in use during 600 BC. And it is pale yellow in color. He rubbed amber with woolen cloth, cat skin you can say. When he rubbed it, after rubbing what he found, he found both glass rod, uh, amber rod as well as woolen cloth starts attracting dust particles. It means both are electrified, both are electrified. Both attain the property of attracting some dust particles. How, how these are dust particles are attracted, I will explain it later on. But they are electrified. So this is called frictional electricity. The, the two things become electrified by friction. How they become electrified, it will be explained later on by Benjamin Franklin, Dufay, and other scientists around 1780. Now, at that time, Thales of Newton's don't know what is the science behind it, how they become electrified. But the attractive property attained by the amber at that time was called resinous. Why it is called resinous? Because in Greek, amber was called was a resin, uh, was a resin and that's why it is called resinous. And um, in Greek, amber was called electrum. So we have given a big respect to Thales of Miletus by saying the name of this lesson is electrostatics. So this electro word comes from the electrum. What is an electrum? It is an amber. And it was the first of first of all done, done by Thales of Miletus. This is electrostatics. At that time, no one knows Thales of Miletus don't know two types of charges. It was later on explained by Dufay. Benjamin Franklin. So I will explain that things in the in my next lecture. But in this today's lecture, I just want to say what do you mean by electrified? I am not putting any positive or negative charge. Because at that time in 600 BC, no one knows what is positive and what is negative. This is called resonance. Later on, this is the electrified property of a wooden cloth were called as vitreous. Now vitreous, I will explain vitreous. But bullion is not called a vitreous. Vitreous was a Latin word given to glass. So this will be explained in my next video. What you have got? Electrostatics, charges at rest, electron, bodies, two body, bodies are positive or negative, vitreous, resonance, frictional electricity, 
charges produced because of friction. There are many ways to produce charges, but charge can be produced in car. What, what I want to say here, later on it is found that charges are produced, but it is produced in pairs. I will explain in next lecture, uh, video. There is a history behind production of charge. And we are giving respect to Thales of Miletus because he, is, he was the first one who had done this experiment and shows the property of electrification. That's all. Thank you very much.